second speech since his Toastmaster membership started out. Top five career regrets. I liked how it's kind of a negative topic, but you spun it in such a way that these are things that we can examine on ourselves from successful CEOs that seem to be the theme of your meeting tonight, both in your speech and your table topics. I would like you to stand up for one second. Now, you see his hair? <laughs> I'm glad you pointed that out. That's, that's an attention getter, okay? A, a, a sleek sports coat, mm -hmm, yeah. a turtleneck sweater, and, you know, like the, the, I don't know if you'd call it metro, but it's definitely like in style jeans and, and the boots, right? And so, oh, you see. and so standing up here, I thought Giorgio, just, just by the way he dressed today, he doesn't always dress like this, but just by the way he dressed today, you kind of look and you go, okay, I'm going to listen to this guy, you know? <laughs> Even though his, his you know, speech, you didn't know if it was going to be negative or positive. Um, okay, thank you, Giorgio. And so, so I appreciate you, you doing that, okay? The hair sticking over, like, okay, what's this all about? <laughs> that, that was good. I, you, I like how you frame the questions about the regret. You know, it is, um, could I have done more when I was younger volunteering because now I have a family and no time? You, I like how you frame that because I was always able to internalize that. However, it seemed within each set of the five regrets, you had other questions that kept coming up. And so I had trouble following distinctly one set to the next about quit earlier, start your own business, start your career earlier. I had trouble distinctly defining in my mind which bullet point was which. And so I think there were some questions under there that confused the, the bigger picture. But I did like how you did that because I internalized it as a listener. Um, and I also think one of your greatest strengths is your passion that you bring to something. People can look in your eyes and they see that Giorgio cares what he's talking about. Okay, so always use that to your advantage. And I think something how you, know, you can really improve that is because you have that passion is to move around the room more and, and get up close and, and look people in the eyes until they get really uncomfortable as you develop a conversation. Okay, so so more sustained eye contact with something that I wrote down. Also, you know, you can you can put your hands in your pocket, you can keep your head down if you're illustrating a point, if you're telling a story, but just, just standing here, it's 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 just it's kind of a crutch, I think. And I think you would be more confident in your sports coat, you know, to stand up here and, and deliver. And I think that would be really good to keep your hands out of your pockets unless it's very purposeful in your speeches. Another thing is very analytical, I think, in your thinking habits. And so you take shorter breaths and shorter statements. I'd like to see bigger breaths, longer drawn out statements until you transition to another role. Uh, whenever the timer turned red, I think if you wrapped it up and got to your closing, because your closing was very good, I'm trying to get to mine right now. <laughs> your closing, <laughs> your closing was, was, was very good, but the red was up for a while until you transitioned to that. I think if you would have done that sooner, Man, you would have you closed out really strong. Okay, and I've got some more notes here, but my biggest, the most important thing I want to say now is give more speeches. This is only speech number two, but I would love to see you give more speeches, as I think we all would. Good job, Georgia. Thank you.